In 1931, America was mired in the depths of the Great Depression. Luxury car sales were at an all-time low. While the Stutz Company of Indianapolis did not have the financial backing to compete with the 16-cylinder models being offered by Cadillac and Marmon, they introduced the model DV32, a 322 cubic inch, 8-cylinder engine with 9 main bearings, dual overhead cams, and dual intake and exhaust valves, making a total of 4 valves per cylinder instead of the customary 2. The design created an impressive 156 horsepower at 3900 RPM. Other refinements included a Bendix vacuum-operated clutch control and a freewheeling transmission. By 1933, just 110 cars left the Stutz factory. One of the rarest was this Wyman-bodied Monte Carlo sedan on a 145-inch wheelbase. Priced at $6,895, 10 times the cost of a Ford V8, and equal to over $125,000 today, it is believed that this is the only Stutz Monte Carlo built in 1933. While the Wyman Company was known for their wood-framed, fabric-covered coachwork, the body panels of this Stutz Monte Carlo are wrapped in aluminum. Inside, luxury reigns, with sumptuous wool broadcloth, plush carpeting, and an aircraft-style machined instrument panel with polished wood accents. This was intended to be the ultimate expression of opulence by Wyman and Stutz. After the collapse of the Stutz Company in 1938, this Monte Carlo found its way to California, where it was discovered in 1952 by Classic Car Club member William Abbott. Recognizing the rarity of this automobile, Mr. Abbott commissioned a full restoration of this Stutz, eventually donating it to the Classic Car Club of America Museum in 1992. Today, this Stutz Monte Carlo still reminds us of the beauty that was being created during some of the darkest days of American history. We thank William Abbott for his donation of this automobile to the Classic Car Club of America Museum.